now that we've set up the jQuery to toggle our debug console on and off, we want to actually do some things to that console. Right now, we're just running a little test phrase at the bottom. So let's come back to index.php, and we'll go ahead and take out this test debug window. And in its place, we're going to take our print r function along with the pre tag. So let's go ahead and cut that out and paste that inside here. And we can go ahead and get rid of this if statement we created. So let's save this. Hop over to the browser and refresh. And again, it's hidden. Let's hit debug. There we go. Now it's not. Now we can see it. Click it again, and it's gone. Now this is cool, but uh, we can take it another step further. So let's do some CSS on the uh, debug console. Let's go to our CSS.php. And uh, I'll just note right now, this file, um, it's going to get messy here soon. Because it's kind of just a dumping ground for CSS that we're doing on the fly. And uh, as it gets a little bigger, we'll start kind of cutting this up and uh, organizing our CSS into other files down the road. Because really what this style tag here is meant for is kind of like a end all override. Basically if we need to override anything that's already been pre-done up here in the link style sheets, we'll put it down here. So just to clarify, we'll be cleaning this up later on down the road. So let's go down here and create a rule for our debug console. So hashtag console dash debug and we want the position of this to be absolute as well because instead of it showing up down at the bottom I want it to show up in our view something we can actually see so let's go ahead and tell it where we want it to show up we'll do top and uh, for now let's just do 50 pixels. So this will place it 50 pixels from the top of the document. And then left 0 pixels. So it'll be towards the top left corner but down from the top 50 pixels. And we'll adjust this once we see how far we need to make it. I'm not sure off the top of my head how big that nav bar is. I basically want it to show up underneath the nav bar. So let's go ahead and save this refresh the page, click our debug button, there you go, I think I was pretty much spot on there. So instead of uh, shooting it down underneath our footer, making us have to scroll to find it, it's just uh, laying it over top of our content, so we can turn this on and off. So now we can actually customize this a little further. Let's go ahead and hop back over to Aptana. Maybe you don't want this to go all the way across the page. Maybe we still want to see our content a little bit. That might help for debugging. So we can kind of uh, compare and contrast. So let's go ahead and change the uh, width of this. So here in our console debug rule, change the width to, we'll say 30% of the page. Save this and let's take a look at that. So I refresh, click our debug button. And there you go. So you can still see some of your content. If you want to actually hard code the the size in there, you could you could put it in, in pixels instead of percents. But now we're shooting the uh, debug console past our uh, content of our page. So what we could also do is go ahead and set a so what we're going to need to do is we're going to set the height of the debug console and we'll set that to we'll say 700 pixels and this may vary depending on what size of monitor you're using uh, but we also want to force that pre tag to be a certain height as well so so we'll create another rule we need to do pound sign console dash 
debugging. We just want to affect that pre tag within there. And we'll do height 700 pixels. We'll save this. Refresh our page. And we almost pulled it off. You can see that the uh, pre tag is being cut off here. But we're having an issue with our overflow. So inside here, in our rule for the pre tag, let's do overflow dash y. So on the y axis, or you know, vertical up and down, we want to make sure we set that to scroll whenever there's overflow. So save that. Go ahead and refresh. There you go. So now we're going to be able to put a lot more stuff in here down the line and not worry about whether it's going to screw up our page. And again, if you've got if you're working on like a laptop or something, maybe you want to make this a little smaller, maybe not 700 pixels tall. So adjust that as as necessary. Now, we could make this a little more fancy and uh instead of a debug, we could put in an icon. So let's hop over to fontawesome.io, which we already have the uh, Font Awesome bank loaded up in our document so we can take advantage of these icons. And let's find one that uh, makes sense here. I think uh, bug might work. So click on that, and it gives us the code here. So let's go ahead and copy this. And we'll head over to our navigation.php and replace the word debug inside of our button tags. Paste that code. Save that. Refresh our page. There you go, we have our little debug button.